Hi, everybody. This week's Parsha is described by our sages as being one of the most critical and important Parshas in the entire Torah because it contains most of the essential and fundamental notions of proper Torah life and observance. Amongst the ideas mentioned in this week's Parsha is Lo Tikalel Chereish. Do not curse a deaf person. Now clearly the most obvious reason behind that is because we're taking advantage, we're exploiting somebody who can't defend themselves. But if that were the purpose of the Torah, why doesn't the Torah explicitly say, don't take advantage of anybody? Why does it single out a deaf person? The Rambam suggests that the Torah explains this idea through the use of the example of lo tekalel chireish, not because there's something specific or more vulnerable about a a deaf person than anyone else in life, but rather the Torah wants to teach us the idea that it's not what happens to the deaf person that the Torah is most concerned about. You see, if you take a look at this example, you might think, why not? The deaf person isn't going to feel anything. They're not going to feel embarrassed. They're not going to feel ashamed because they can't hear. Therefore, the Rambam says, that's why the Torah gave that example, because it wants you to understand that it's not the impact on the deaf person alone that the Torah wants to prevent. It's what will happen to the cursor. The type of people we become are in our hands. If we choose to be a cursor, if we choose to take advantage, it affects our neshama as well as that of our victim. And the Torah wants us to decide what type of people we want to be and directs us, don't be a cursor, don't be an exploiter, don't be the type of person who's insensitive to the needs of the world around us. And that's the reason the Torah says it gave this example. It's not about the impact on the victim only. It's about who you want to be. And that surely is an essential message of all the purpose of the Torah. Who do you want to be? It's a Torah thought. It only takes a moment. Shabbat Shalom, everybody.